what is going on everyone in this video I'm gonna be doing comparison of two Western digital media players um, the the model numbers of each one is probably like 10 or 12 digits long so it's gonna to be too hard to mention them so what I'll do just for the sake of making it easier is I'll call this first generation um, and I call this third generation because it's the newer one I know this for sure Western digital causes calls this a third generation uh, they don't really call this anything so I'll just call it the first generation because I'm pretty sure it's the first one they ever released so uh, right off the bat, what we'll do is compare the size. Um, you'll notice that the third generation is significantly thinner. Um, I mean, mind you, they're, they're both very compact compared to, say, a Blu-ray player or something else. Um, in terms of thick, uh, actually length and width, they're identical. Uh, they are exactly the same. Um, in terms of the front is pretty much the same. Uh, well, let's do this much easier. Uh, remote sensors at the front, LED indicators for like if the power button's on or if you got a USB player is plugged in, those are the same. Uh, the third generation has a USB port at the front, which is a big, uh, it's a lot easier. Um, you know, having to plug in a USB in the first generation is a bit of an, a pain, and I'll show you where they are. If you're moving on to the right, uh, you have the model number and whatnot, serial number here, uh, whereas the third generation has nothing. At the back, they're almost identical. Uh, you have AC adapters as the first ports. Now at the top you have digital optical audio output uh, which you have right here. Uh, internet for direct internet connection you have on both. HDMI uh, output you have on both. Uh, second USB port you have on both. Now this is this is the difference. On the old one, audio video out for regular component cables, you have one. And for YPBPR, you have another port. This one does not support YPBPR. It just simply has a component audio video out. That's it. Okay? So there there is a significant difference there. Um, so they kind of jipped out on the third generation, but quite honestly, you're better off with HDMI anyway. Um, moving on to the left, this is where the second USB uh, port is. So on the first, gen uh, sorry, on the third generation, where it's at the front, the first generation has it at the side, which is a bit of a, a bit of a pain in the butt to reach. Um, and you also notice that this is where the reset button is. The reset button for the third generation is at the bottom right here, which kind of makes more sense. How often are you going to really access it? Another perk about the third generation is that you'll notice at the bottom, it's just flat, whereas here you actually have two holes to put this on a uh, wall, to wall mount it. And now you might be wondering what the heck is the purpose of that, and so did I. Uh, my friend actually has the same model as this one, and what he did is he has his TV wall mounted, and because his wall mount is kind of like thicker than this USB player, it's more thicker than that, and the TV is so long, he was actually able to tuck this in next to the TV on the, on the wall. See, you can't even see this. It's hidden behind the TV, which was I thought was very clever of him. So I'm pretty sure that's the main reasoning for uh, Western Digital to do that, which is a nice little perk. Uh, moving along to the remotes, um, this on on the left, this one here is the first generation. This is the third generation. You'll notice a significant difference in terms of grip. The third generation is a lot more comfortable. However, it's like double the size. Um, some of the buttons are the same, like power button, home button, navigation buttons, back, uh, the back one is over here. However, you got a whole bunch of different uh, buttons here, like a number pad. The letters, I can never seem to get them to work, so I'm not even sure what the purpose of them are. To be honest, I don't even think this has any use at all then. If you can't use the letters, I don't see why you need the numbers. It's, it doesn't make much sense to me. They could have cut off the remote right here and they would have been almost the same size, but hey, not a big deal. So that's the physical aspect of the... USB players. Now let's move into the software and do a comparison of uh, how they handle uh, apps and uh, files. Before I continue any further, I wanted to let you know that both the first and third generation support DLNA playback. <clears throat> so if you have a cell phone, say it's connected on the same network as your uh, Western Digital player, which is whether it's the first or third generation, it is possible to stream uh, a video back onto them, long as they're on the same network connection. Uh, both of them have support for wireless network adapters. That's the point of them having two USB ports. Uh, you can use the back ones for, say, a wireless network adapter, or you can plug in a keyboard. Um, so that's a nice little perk I wanted to mention to you guys. Both of them, of course, support 1080p playback, and they do not come with a HDMI wire. HDMI wires must be purchased separately. Anyway, moving along, 
uh, I'm gonna be showing you the third generation first. This is the newer model, okay? Just keep that in mind, this is the new model. Uh, so right off the bat you get this lovely wallpaper. Uh, you can customize it, it is possible to put any wallpaper you want. Um, the menu, like the setup menu, it's pretty generic, nothing too fancy. You can set up audio, video, however you want. You can pause the video at any point to read everything you see here. Um, to be honest, I think I might just stop. If you want to know what's exactly here, just watch my review of this USB player. If you want to know exactly what's in the other one, <clears throat> uh, this one, watch the video review for that one. I'll put a link for those in the description below. And I'll put the exact model number for each uh, Western Digital player in the description below as well. So if you want to, say, purchase it, copy and paste that model number in Google and then you can, you know, shop around. Um, file support. I, they support, according to Western Digital's website, they, they support, you know, a ton of files. And I will write next to each file, uh, in each model number, which file format they support according to Western Digital. However, the third generation, which is a newer one, what they don't mention is that they support um, playback of MTS file formats. <clears throat> so this is a MTS file format. It, it plays back great. It even plays back. This MTS file has been recorded in 60 frames per second. You guys will not see that being played right now. Uh, the reason being is because YouTube has a cap limit of playing back 30 frames per second, so I can see it with my own eyes right now. Western Digital does not mention it, but it's a fantastic perk to discover by accident, so uh, it's really a great feature. Um, here's a trailer from Flashpoint, the show. I think it's season 4. I'll use, I'll use these same two videos to demonstrate on the first generation, the older one as well. Um, so, you, you can't see the, the image sharpness right now because this is being play, uh, played back to you guys through a camera recording, but with my own eyes, this is full like HD quality. Really fantastic quality, it looks great. There's an RS feed, uh, games, you have a ton of games. I will just show you quickly one set of games. You must have internet connection in order to access these games. <clears throat> uh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so here, you got very basic games like chess and stuff, nothing too fancy, I won't go through them. They're very like 2D basic games, like probably like the original Nintendo system. Services where it, the good chunk of apps are, uh, let's take AccuWeather for example. Again, you must have internet to use any of these apps. AccuWeather is extremely, uh, it's, it's brilliant. I'm going to be using this app to compare to the first generation. So you get a lot of detailed information uh, if you click on maps. You can see a live uh, map feed uh, right there. You can see Hurricane Sandy in the dark green. Uh, lifestyle. <clears throat> it kind of displays some stuff like, uh, is it ideal weather conditions to grow grass? And it actually says no, it's quite poor. Uh, common cold forecast is neutral. How about hiking forecast? It's pretty poor. And that's because it's fall right now. It's kind of gloomy outside. Uh, forecast, you can see seven day, whatnot. So there's a lot of options here. So it's a big upgrade from the first generation, which I'll show you in a bit. However, some apps like say YouTube are the exact same thing. They haven't changed a thing at all. Um, it's I do wish they changed it. I don't like the original YouTube app. It's pretty basic and boring. But some apps like say Flickster is not present in the first generation. And I'll show you a full list of the first generation. You got box office, DVD, upcoming movies, you can search, etc. You get Rotten Tomatoes ratings in there and everything. Uh, so here's a full list I'll show you of all the apps available in the third generation. So that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, live TV, I think you must have a sling, sling player, which I don't have, so I can't demonstrate that. Uh, I can't demonstrate Netflix because I don't have a Netflix account because Netflix up here in Canada is, is not worth the money. It's really bad up here. So that's a software demonstration of the third generation. Let's go into the first and older generation. Okay, so currently I have the first generation, the older one plugged in this time. And uh, right off the bat, you'll notice that the screen is, it looks pretty slick and simple, but it's a lot more colder looking compared to the other one. The other one has a lot more vibrant colors in the menu and the background is customizable. Um, so let's move into the settings. Um, you, you got your basic generic settings for setting up picture, audio, video, <clears throat> file management, network settings and whatnot. Um, so let's go into games. See, so you have Fun Spot, which uh, will give you a numerous amount of games. 
Now this list is the same. However, you notice that in the third generation you had Fun Spot and another game section. Well, this one only has Fun Spot, so it's missing like a lot of games from the other gaming uh, app. See, it only has one, whereas the other one had a second one, which allows you access to a whole bunch of other app, uh, game apps. Again, not the most amazing games. They're pretty boring, actually. Very 2D basic games. Uh, so we'll play back the same trailer. So, again, it, it, it looks pretty good. Um, it's not bad. It, it, it plays back the same clarity. There's, there's no picture loss. There's no picture difference between the two. Both of them play very sharp image quality. <clears throat> now, the difference here is some newer, rarer files. Like, MTS is starting to become slowly popular, but it's still fairly new. The first generation, the older model, can't really handle MTS file formats properly. And when it does, you get this, like, time and date here at the bottom. Uh, you guys can't really see it because now... It, it's kind of hard to see if you zoom in. Yeah, see, you see 2012, uh, the 10th of which is October, and the 20th, which is the date, and then you have the time. You can't get rid of that. It stays there at the bottom. Um, it does play back 60 frames per second, but the fact that you can't get rid of a simple timestamp is really like it might be a deal breaker for some people if you have a video camera that records an MTS file format. Um, uh, in terms of other apps, internet media, this is all you get. That's it. And for some people like me, up here in Canada, even apps like Pandora, you, you can't even use because you have to be in the US. So half the apps in here, I can't even use being a Canadian. But regardless, even if you're an American, you're only getting like maybe a quarter of the amount of apps that the third generation gives you. And uh, it, it, they're not that great. They're actually pretty dull. Uh, I was supposed to show you AccuWeather, wasn't I? So this is AccuWeather. There are no additional options. This is all you're allowed. Uh, sure, your forecast is right here on the main screen, but stuff like <clears throat> the lifestyle menu I showed you, is it ideal for hiking? Yes or no? Is it ideal uh, whether to grow your grass? Yes or no? You don't get that. So some some apps <clears throat> have been greatly uh, upgraded, like AccuWeather. However, in the old edition, this is all you get. So basically, to do a quick comparison, um, if you watch my video reviews of each one, which you should, You'll know that the first generation, I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. The newer one, I gave it a um, 4 out of 5. Both of them have their pros and cons, which I'm not going to go into too much. You must. I recommend that you watch the video reviews for each one. Then you'll know exactly what they are. So, for today, uh, today's standards rather, um, the third generation is going for about 100 bucks Canadian. I think it's the same in, about, in America. The third generation is a bit older. It, it might be even hard to get new versions of it, like new models, I mean, brand new. Uh, extremely rare because they're about two, three years old now. Um, if you can get them for like 70 bucks or more, I say avoid it. Dish out the extra $20 and get the third generation. However, if you're getting for like, say, 50 bucks, then by all means get the, the first older generation. Then it's fine. Uh, but yeah, it, the, the third generation acts more like a smart TV replacement, um, if you can't afford a smart TV. Whereas this one is just very, very basic. It's great for playing uh, files on a USB stick or hard drive, and that's pretty much it. I wouldn't even rely on the apps for, like, you know, daily uses. Cause it's not that great. So, if you found this video useful, check out my website in the description below. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.